Hi everybody, welcome. Michelle Newton here, the Aussie Angel Lady with you tonight for our Angel Hour. And uh, we've got a few people here already, so that's really, really beautiful. Hi Emma, how are you going? And hi Heather, how are you? Nice to see you here. We'll let a few more people jump on. Let me know that you're excited about the call tonight. Write the word excited in the comments for us. That would be really lovely. Hi Jamie. Carly, how are you going? Zoe, Tracy, how are you? Sherry, hello everybody. Write the word excited in the comments for me. Thanks, Catherine. Nice to have you here. And really good to be here. I'm so sorry. I must apologise for missing last week. But um, just having to revamp our schedule and Thursdays I was working at the centre and it was just too big a day and I just didn't have the energy. So um, hence we're here on a Tuesday and that's going to be our regular day now for the Angel Hour unless I've got to go to Melbourne to buy stock on a Wednesday. So I'll let you know on the page. Thank you, everybody, for being excited. It's Michelle Newton, Aussie Angel Lady here with your Angel Hour uh, again this week. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the call off by doing the weekly reading. So I will just break a little bit for them for a minute just so that Franz knows where to cut the recording um, for our YouTube and then we'll get going with our weekly reading. Hi everybody, it's Michelle Newton here, the Aussie Angel Lady, with your weekly angel reading for this week, beginning yesterday, Monday the 12th of February, and going through to Sunday the 18th of February. We're going to call in the angels asking for a gorgeous, clear, accurate reading for the week going forward. So shuffling the cards, the Angel Feather Oracle cards, and we'll draw one card for the start of the week, one for the middle of the week, and one for the weekend. So here we go. Oh, very, very nice. The start of the week is the purple angel feather, which is channel divine grace. The angels acknowledge that you have an intense psychic ability and call upon you for spiritual service and visionary leadership within the world. Purple, very spiritual color. So we've got a lot of um, high vibration energy around us at the start of this week with the purple energy coming in. The middle of the week, Archangel Raphael steps in, the Emerald Angel Feather, restored health and healing. The healing angels have heard your prayers for improved health. They send healing rays of green light that will assist you or a loved one to heal physical and mental conditions. So that is very good news. The weekend, we have the White Angel Feather, a new beginning. The angels ask that you ready yourself to commence something new and exciting. A fresh start awaits you. Now, let's have a look at these three cards sitting together. So there's a lot of high vibration energy around this week. Very spiritual tones to the energy of the week. And Archangel Raphael and his band of healers are around you and yours this week. So if you have had some worries about your health, about a loved one's health, it's time to hand it over to Archangel Raphael. Uh, he has amazing healing abilities and he can send love and light and healing to you or to a family member or pet even. So the new beginning on the weekend is just very much about angelic reassurance. So if you're worried about something to do with your health, for goodness sakes, go and follow your intuition, get it checked out, get a second opinion, or if you're going through some sort of a treatment process, just know that the angels are here to reassure you. The white angel feather is always about reassurance. So Archangel Raphael has heard your prayers for healing and they're really saying that just take a deep breath. There is a fresh start awaits you. So if you're dealing with something that's chronic, you know, Archangel Raphael is listening to your petitions and to your prayers and he'll be sending you guidance about that, maybe doing it 
something different, trying a different modality, um, seeing a different practitioner, that type of stuff. The new beginning. So it can be someone new coming in, a new practitioner, a new health um, um, person, a specialist, a, a new alternative therapist or a new therapy to begin to, to actually um, that will enhance your health and well-being. Let's go to Archangel Michael now. Oh, fruit tingles. And we will, that's flying out, everybody. And we will ask Archangel Michael's opinion on this weekly read and we'll bring the male energy of the Archangel Michael Sword and Shield Oracle into this reading now. Okay, so here we go. The cards have clumped. And exactly, this is the green suit of the Archangel Michael Sword and Shield Oracle is where Archangel Michael works with Archangel Raphael. So that makes complete sense. Release worry, pull the plug on worry. Archangel Michael is present to pull the plug on worry, just ask and it shall be done. So again, as with this reading, it's very much about Raphael and the angels being around us, telling us to stop worrying. We can't worry enough to change anything. So when we stop worrying and we hand over our concerns to the angels, then we can hear the messages coming back. We can get our guidance. We can be guided to maybe come here onto a live call and, and, and receive a free reading with some amazing piece of information you needed, that type of thing, just to be guided by your intuition on what you should do next. But very much a very reassuring reading this week about um, our health and our well-being. And positive thinking is a part of your well-being. So meditation is very, very important as well in this reading this week. So time to meditate, especially at the start of the week. If we go into the purple energy, which is all to do with contacting our, our angels, um, ascended masters, archangels, uh, very high beings to receive information and guidance to do with our health and well-being. So thank you for being here at the Angels Toolbox for your weekly Angel Further Oracle reading. I would love to do an in-person reading with you. If, you. if you need that, if you need questions answered, I can answer them. I have a great connection to the angels. You can book a reading on my website, which is www.michellenewton.com, or you can come and see me in person at the AOK Healing Centre for, for a personal one-on-one -on -one reading that you will need to book. So take care, and we'll see you back here next week for another beautiful Angel Feather Oracle reading. Bye. Fantastic. So just stopped a little minute there so Franz would know where to cut that uh, um, video out for us. So thank you, everybody. Thanks for being here. Yes, beautiful cards, says um, Shazza. They were very beautiful cards and lots of healing around for us this week, which is very, very fabulous. Jules says, thank you, Michelle. Helps a lot. Stop worrying. Yes, we, yes. You, you know, some of us can be professional worriers and um, doesn't really get us anywhere. We're better off to actually meditate or to write our worries down in a book or on a piece of paper and burn them or, you know, do something practical that's actually going to assist us because worrying is just a state of really it's an anxiety state, which, you know, really doesn't serve us at all. So let me know that you're excited to be here. Uh, Michelle Newton, the Aussie Angel Lady here with you tonight on our Angel Hour to do some beautiful angel readings. Okay. So we're going to go into the readings. Um, everybody, if you could, um, what we're going to do tonight is do, do some readings for as many people as we can. Um, write the word excited in, please. And also when you do put, keep commenting there for me, please. And tell me where you live and that you're excited so that I can, um, yeah, I can notice you. Yes, Deb, you're quite, that's quite true. Worry is a wrinkle maker. Yes, people. So don't worry because you'll get wrinkles. That's true, Deb. Um, okay, we'll just follow my process here. So, um, hi, Emma Desert. How are you going, Emma? I'm going to draw a card for you. Emma Desert. I've got a couple of very important things to tell you at the end of the call too, so please don't go away because they're really, really exciting. So, Emma, I'm going to draw an Angel Feather Oracle card for you. Okay. 
Emma, this is uh, a beautiful card. It's the magenta angel feather and it's essence of an entrepreneur. I'd love to know whether you've got your own business because you would be very, very good in business if you, um, it'd be great for you to aspire to have your own business. Uh, the angels have witnessed your business flair and dedicated work ethic. You could also be a really, really hard worker. They believe you could aspire to be quite an entrepreneur if you choose to follow this path. Any business you work for will be very well rewarded, Emma. Um, if you are thinking of starting your own business, I'd love to know, can you tell us in the comments, um, Emma, I, I feel that you could be doing something on the side, like, um, you know, maybe, I don't know, something like um, Nutramedics or um, doTERRA or something like that have you started something like that yet because i think you'd be awesome not saying that those two in particular but it could be anything like there's lorraine lee linen or or some sort of party plan or multi-level marketing that you could actually do very very well and could be to do with the beauty industry like arbon or something like that tell me if you're doing anything like that would you um emma because i'd love to know um someone told me years ago that um i, I had i could aspire to be a businesswoman, I thought they were an absolute lunatic. I was a nurse. Yes, Emma's done doTERRA. I did feel that you you had that on the side, Emma. Are you still doing it? Because um, you could do really, really well. I'd like to know if you, yeah, because I feel that you've actually had a taste of some sort of a business model, which is doTERRA, and um, we're so we're so spot on with that. Um so it could not, may not be that, but it could be that you, it's given you a taste of business and that you'll go on and you'll seek something else or you'll either go back to that and, and do more with it or you could do something different. But it's like you've had a bit of a taste of it and I did feel it was on the side to what you normally did. So, um, yeah, so you've got business flair there. So don't be surprised if you don't actually um, have your own business one day, Del, because you'd be very good at it. But you really need to be passionate about it, okay? It needs to be what something that you love, okay? I'm just getting myself organised here. Sorry, guys. Um, yes, doTERRA is lovely. I'm also a um, consultant for it. Not that I know much about it. I just know that it's really great for your health. Um, and I do have someone that helps, a couple of ladies that help me a lot with it. Um, radio. Let's have a look and see who's next. Thank you for your excitement. That's great. Please like and share the live stream. Michelle Newton, the Aussie Angel Lady, here with you tonight on our Angel Hour. If anyone's interested in doTERRA, you can go on to my um, doTERRA site. Um, there's actually a link. Franks, can you get the link for that? It's up the top of my website and we'll put it in the comments for people in case they want to have a look at it. Um, I'm drawn here to Jamie Gilson. Hi, Jamie is here and very excited all the way from Michigan. So welcome to you. So just writing names down as I go because I have a bit of a, a process. It's Jamie, an Angel Feather Oracle card for you. Thanks for coming all the way from, not that you've actually arrived, but you know what I mean, on the airways. Here we go. Gold Angel Feather. This is a lovely card for you, Jamie. Um, full circle. The angels acknowledge and applaud the wonderful effort that you have put in. You are transforming from an ordinary human being into a spiritual being. Are you married? I'd like to know because I see a wedding, a wedding band with you. Jamie, let me know if you're married because I would like to know that. Deb's saying, hope it's warming up in Michigan. Obviously, it's really cold over there. Let me know if you're married, please, Jamie, because I see a wedding ring. I hope you haven't gone anywhere. Just giving her a minute to get back to me. Doesn't pay to leave people because I can scroll back down and um, and find you. Hi, Jamie. How are you going? Are you married? Let us know. Hi, Shirley, Kelly, Nairi. How are you going? Just waiting on Jamie to get back to me about a wedding band. If not, it's about you... Um, you know, really getting to a point of being circle something, those thing. You know, it's like can be like a, re a reward. Um, you know, um, 
I do feel that she's divorced. Okay, radio, that's good. Well, this is this is definitely a wedding band, I'm saying, so it could be something new that's coming up for you, so that's interest, interesting. Um, so it could be, you know, it's you've got to a point in your life since the divorce that it's time to start thinking about, you know, future relationships, you know, um, which is okay. You haven't been ready, they tell me. I wear my aunt's. Ah, oh, she wears her aunt's. Okay, she passed away. So you're wearing your aunt's wedding ring. Okay, because I did see a wedding ring. So there you go. We should never doubt what the angels tell me. So that's really beautiful, um, great connection that you've got with your auntie. So, um, But you are wearing a wedding ring. You're saying, no, I'm not married, but you are wearing a wedding ring because I definitely saw a wedding ring. So the angels were was, was showing me the wedding ring. So I was actually quite surprised when you said you were divorced. But if you're wearing your aunt's wedding ring, that's a hello from your auntie. Thank you, darling. Okay, who do we have next? Hi, Heather, how are you going? Thank you, everybody, for being here. Michelle Newton, the Aussie Angel Lady, uh, with you tonight. And let's have a look and see where we're going. Um, hi to Kathy Graham, uh, first person from United Kingdom. How are you, beautiful? Let's have a card for you. Oh, the angels are telling me about whispers for you. So have you been getting messages? You need to tell me where you live and tell me that you're excited. And, yes, you are receiving messages from the angels. This is a very, very angel card, the lilac angel feather. Activate the angelic chakra. The angels would like to assist you with activating your fifth eye chakra known as the angelic chakra. Now we have our third eye chakra here, fourth eye chakra in the middle of our forehead, which is called the soma chakra. It balances emotions. And the fifth eye chakra is a tiny little one up here just on the you know, I'm just on the hairline. And that is, you know, honestly, um, Kathy, when you can get that open, you are just going to go bang, bang, bang with your guidance. They talk to me about whispers. You're, you're getting in intuitive hits coming through. You can get this angelic chakra open. You will just will not believe how much easier life can be because you will trust everything you get. To do this, I'd recommend my Angel Staircase um, 2 CD. Where's that? Hold the bus, everybody. I've got to find it. Um, oh, here it is. There's a chakra balance track on that, which I've actually created, and it would be really, really great for you. Um, it's awesome. You can get uh, the apps, uh, the CDs as an app on the app store. Friends might be able to get us a link to the Angel Staircase CDs or the page on my website where they can go and click their device, friends. That would be awesome. So that would really help you. So you are getting whispers. You need to trust them, gorgeous. Okay. Uh, and I just want to say hello to the beautiful Barbara Clark. Barbara is all the way from Scotland. We have some exciting news, don't we, Barbara? I was going to break it here and since I've seen your name. I'm going to read your card though, Barbara. But um, we need to talk here. Barbara is a fellow author, Indigo's um, author, which is uh, our app developer, Frederick, who is amazing. He's just done some amazing, amazing work. Um, and he has put together just for Apple users, so I phones and iPads, um, a new portal for our apps. So it's absolutely phenomenal. And you can go there and you can actually try all the apps for seven days for free. Thank you, Barbara. Um, so it's absolutely amazing. So that was what my big announcement tonight was about the new portal. So if Franz, Franz is here, she's got the link for us and she's going to put it in there for us. Um, so that if you do have my apps on the iPhone or the iPad, do not worry because um, because you can go onto the new portal and you can actually activate it within this portal so you get it again for free so you don't have to pay again but you get to see all the other authors amazing oracles as well and try them for seven days and then if you love them as much as you love mine you can grab them for next to nothing it's awesome so that's our great news isn't it barbara Barbara's giving me a heart. So I'm going to give you a card, Barbara, because I know you help Frederick so much and I'm sure he's very grateful for everything that you do for him. And I wish I could do more. This is gorgeous, Barbara. It's the rose angel feather, which is a blessing for your home. The angels have heard your invitation to be present in and around your home. They are about to bestow a blessing of love on your home and its occupants. 
I do feel you've got another animal coming, Barbara. Have you got room for another one? I'm sure you have. You could even be um, looking after someone's animal for a little while, but just, oh, just it fills you up. It's just the love is just amazing. So um, look forward to that. Now, I did see a comment back from Jamie Gilson who we're talking about, the angels are talking about a wedding ring. Ah, she says, thank you, Michelle. Yes, I'm engaged. Well, there you go. But she does wear her aunt's rings and she just put them back on today. Thank you, angels. How awesome is that? Amazing. So you don't have to be in, in person with someone you, to get actually an amazing um, angel reading because I've got a great connection. So, you know, I can, can do that. Um, I don't have to actually have you in the room. So that is brilliant. Um, oh, Barbara said she'd love a new puppy. Well, I do believe there's something, a new animal coming to you. And I'm sure you've got room, Barbara, for a little bit more loving because, oh, don't animals give you so much love? You're welcome. Okay. You could even be asked to mind an animal too, Barbara. I could, you could be, you know, animal sitting. <laughs> that could be coming. Uh, everybody, you need to tell me um, where you live and um, that you're excited, please, so that I can read for you. That would be very, very awesome. Oh, my goodness. The cards are flying everywhere. People are getting excited. Okay, who's next? We are going to say hello to Sherry Ward, who is from Swan Hill. Sherry, you could come and see me one day. That would be awesome because you're not that far away. I've had people from Swan Hill at the AOK Healing Centre at Emerald Bank, Kyala. I'd love a card or cards to assist me, to assist with my dad who is struggling at the moment. Thank you for all your angelic work. Well, I sort of, you know, don't read for other, you know, when people ask me to read for other people, it's sort of not fair, but I'll give you a card in general, Sherry just to see what the angels have got to say. Uh, there's a few emotions floating around, Sherry. Um, you, do, you are concerned about him. And um, this is the orange angel feather. It's choose to feel good, though. The angels ask that you let go of old emotions and any emotional pain from the past. When these are released, joy will warm your heart. So focus on the positives at the moment, you know, don't be looking for the negatives. I know you're a bit concerned about dad at the moment, but try and keep, you know, try and keep yourself focused on the positive, okay? Um, I'd like you to use some orange essential oil as well. I think that would really keep you feeling more uplifted. I think you've got, you feel like you've got a lot of responsibility at the moment. So um, some orange essential oil would be great for you, Sherry. Oh, thank you, Dee. Lovely to have you here. Tell me where you live. I need to see that you're excited and where you live. You're welcome, Sherry. Um, okay, let's have a look here. Uh, we're going to go to Jenny Harris, who's excited, and she's from Southern Tablelands in New South Wales. Welcome, Jenny. Nice to have you here. We'll draw you a card, gorgeous. Okay. Oh, yes, I'd love you to come and see me too, Sherry. That would be really, really gorgeous. Okay, this is for Jenny. Uh, Jenny, you need to act. This is the red angel feather, which is take action now. The angels advise you that a project or idea that you've been working on is finally nearing the point of transformation. If you feel like quitting, don't. You need to just keep pushing through, okay? It's very important because you will get there. Important time of the year. This is a great time of the year to push through and get things finished, um, February and March. Once we get past March, we're going to have planets starting to go backwards. So this is a great opportunity, a great energy to push things out, especially for you, Jenny. Keep working, keep working. Do not stop and do not quit. Oh, that's beautiful. Barbara says she's thrilled to have seen me this morning. It's, it's morning time in Scotland and it's evening time here in Australia. As for the puppy dog news, that made me smile big time. Thank you. You're most welcome. Um, okay, fantastic. Now, let me have a look and see who else we've got to. Um, I'm drawn back to you, Dee Janelle. So thank you for being here. And Dee is from Broome in Western Australia. I believe that is very, very beautiful there, Dee. I've never been to Western Australia, though. I haven't been many places at all, did you know? Okay, let's have a look. Isn't it wonderful, this internet and what we can do with it? So, D, this is awesome. Caramel angel feather. 
a new work venture, the Angela Hughes presenting with new choices regarding paid or unpaid work. A new career, job, hobby or project is on the horizon. Are you looking for work? Tell me. Get back to me, Dee, and then I'll go further with it. Okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. We are travelling home as our roads were closed to broom due to heavy rains. Oh, goodness me. Okay, well, go steady. Call Archangel Michael in, get him to protect the car. Put solid gold around your car, okay? Get yourself home safely. Let me Tell me if you're looking for a new work, D. It has been isolated. It has been isolated due to rain. Oh, heavy rain. That's no good. Um, yes, Deb, get things done. Um, February and March. It's it's a it's an awesome time. There's no plants going backwards at the moment. It's a great time. Yes, a change in work possibly. Yeah, well you've got new work coming. There's no doubt about it, D. Okay, so prepare for it. Okay, and if you get offered something, for God's sakes, take it. Um, you need to tell me where you live, and you need to write excited, please, everybody. Okay, radio. Yeah, thanks, France. I've got my beautiful assistant, Franz, who's working with me as well on the live and she is, um, yeah, working behind the scenes and talking to me as well to, so that we can see as many um, comments. Jenny says, thank you, this resonates so much with me. Thank you very much for getting back to me when I read for you. It's a great um, energy exchange to actually let me know that it makes sense and then other people can understand what the reading was about too. So that's really, really lovely. Thank you. You're welcome, Dee. Um, okay, let's have a look and see who else we've got here. Uh, hi, Sammy Jane. How are you going? Excited. And she is from Glenning Valley, New South Wales. We've got a few New South Wales people here tonight. Okay, Sammy, let's have a card for you. Franz will be writing comments in as well. It'll just come up as me, but it's actually Franz writing it because I can't write and do readings at the same time. Not possible. So, Sammy, you have a lot of angels around you. You are a real, real sweetheart. Um, apricot angel fear, the angels of kindness. The angels applaud the acts of kindness that you perform regularly for others and your thoughtful, caring communication style. I'm getting the, I'm getting the word nursing. I don't know whether you're a nurse. I don't know whether you wanted to be a nurse and you didn't do it or that you just care for people which is really, really beautiful. So, you know, that's your message. Okay, gorgeous. So keep working with the angels. Oh, okay. Radio. Okay, yes, radio. Uh, Carly, hi. Carly Lyons. So don't go away, anyone, because we can scroll back. Carly sent me... Um, a very interesting photo of her son that had um, like a golden, uh, like a golden sort of a, I don't know what you call it, sort of like it wasn't actually like a round orb, but it was like a presence in it. Um, had a lot of, you know, she said, I spoke to you about a golden presence in my son's photo in the front of his school and have had a lot of white feathers at my front door. The angels are around you, Ka Kaylee. So um, that's very, very good news. White feathers are always a symbol of reassurance from the angels and letting you know that they are there for you. I'll draw you a card. Oh, you haven't given, tell me where you live. I oh, know you, you do. Tari. Okay. Yes, you have. Tali, thank you very much, Kaylee. I'll give you a card. Gorgeous. Uh, Cream Angel Feather, this is a lovely card. It's Embrace Change. The angels applaud your willingness to embrace change with acceptance and maturity. Um, you need to go with the flow, Kaylee, okay, because you've got some changes coming in, all right? And, look, change is good. Just go with it. Don't force, don't, don't, um, don't, what am I saying? Don't repel the change is what they're saying to me, okay? Just go with it. Go with it, okay? Just think of it as an adventure, all right, is what they're saying to me. Okay, so goodness me, I'm drawn to people from New South Wales tonight. Why is this? Sometimes it's um, people from Ireland tonight. We've got a lot of people from New South Wales. Maybe you're all sharing with your friends. Thank you very much for sharing and liking the Michelle Newton, the Aussie Angel Lady page. You just have to click the little like button, which is good. So Margaret Cook Farmer is excited to be here and she's from Sanctuary Point in New South Wales. Thank you for being here, Margaret. Let's have a card for you. Oh, 
God, we're on fire tonight. Sammy Jane says, thank you. I'm doing aged care. There you go. I've got nursing for you. Excellent. Exactly what you should be doing, beautiful. You're a nurse, born and bred, it's in your blood. Okay. Even if no one else in the family was nurses, you have got it in your blood. Okay, Margaret Cook Farmer, this is the brown angel feather for you. A practical approach is required. The angels advise you to focus on practicalities at the moment, one step at a time. This card for you, Margaret, is just take your time. I've just told someone to get moving. I'm telling you to take your time. Don't rush. You need to get back, get organised, be practical, dot your eyes, cross your T's, ground yourself, use the colour brown, get yourself a tiger eye crystal. Okay, excellent. Listen to the reading that I did for the weekly reading when it goes up, Marie or Mari Chase Sillers. It's all about healing. The weather here is hot, Sammy. Okay, who else do we have? I feel like Angel Michael around us now. Um, Nairi Walton, hi, beautiful. Another one from New South Wales. Goodness gracious me, angels. You're really focusing in there tonight. Um, Archangel Michael's with you, okay, and I was really drawn to you. I'm going to draw a Michael card for you, um, Nairi. I have to just give me one moment. I love it when you get back to me about the readings because people that are listening, you know, they, they see that they're so accurate. Uh, creative solutions for you, Nairi. Um, think outside the square. Archangel Michael assists you now to consider and examine alternative, op, alternative options. This will lead to a peaceful and perfect resolution of issues at hand. What I say to people about this card is you can't get, if you want to get different results, you have to do things differently. So it's being creative, okay, and um, doing things differently. So if something's not working, stop doing it that way and do it a different way. If you knew how many changes I've made in my business since the start of this year, you would freak out. Honest to God, it has just been one big tidal wave of change. And, you know, if you don't go with it, it just consumes you. So get creative, love. Okay. Where are we going next, angels? Thank you, Dee. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. And Dee says, love listening to your positivity. Thank you. It's uplifting. And, you know, Dee, even if you don't get a reading, there'll be, if you're drawn here tonight, there'll be something that you will hear that will make a difference to you. I can absolutely reassure that. Oh, my God, Judith, it's two degrees in Dublin. It's beautiful. Oh, my God, it must be beautiful snow. But, oh, that's very, very cold. Judith, let's have a card for you. The dogs are barking, Judith. Do you have dogs? Draw a card for you. Oh, I think I need a new deck of cards. I've nearly worn these out. Fuchsia Angel Feather. Then There's a new lifestyle or home. The angels would like to inform you that it's time to commence preparations for a change in lifestyle or residence. I feel you're going to change something in your house, though. I don't feel that. You could be. You can tell me if I'm not I'm not picking up that you're going to move house, but I feel you're going to change something in the house. All right? Get back to us on that one. Judith. Judith, uh, what did Judith say? No. I don't know what you mean, no. You're not moving? Because I don't feel you're moving. I feel like you're going to change something in the house, like you're going to, I don't know, get a new cover for your bed or... Oh, I don't know, rearrange the furniture or something like that. Oh, 45 centimetres of snow in 24 hours, Vicky. She's saying her son's in Calgary. Goodness gracious me, that's cold. We're boiling here. Um, you need to tell us where you're... Oh, here we go. Let me have a look. Margaret, thank you for your angel reading. I lost my husband to cancer recently. Oh, honey, that's so, that's so sad. I'm so sorry. We're sending you lots and lots of love and angels. Could everybody please put some hearts? Can we have a heart, you know, press the heart button? If you put your finger on the heart, that will give a, 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 like a fireworks of hearts and we all need to send love to Margaret. So that's how we can do that. Everybody, please do some hearts and we're going to send them to Margaret, please, who's recently lost her husband. And she's finding it hard to make her mind up about moving house or staying put. 
Okay, Margaret, I can't remember what card I read for you. The reading was spot on. Oh, that's awesome. I can't see the cards on the, uh, the hearts on the screen, but I'm sure you're sending them to us. And Margaret, we need to send her lots and lots of hearts. Um, yeah, I can't see them on the screen, but I'm sure. Heading back to Australia in April, no to having dogs. Well, look, I have to give you this, Judith, because the angels always send you, send me signs. And if you don't have dogs, it's about coming back to friends because the dog is about companionship. Okay. Oh, here we go. That's the one I just read. I read for you, New Lifestyle or Home. So you're heading back. You are moving. Oh, there you go. Okay. So you you thank you for all the hearts. So, well, that's excellent. So you are on the move. Are you actually moving, coming for a holiday or are you actually moving house? Let's clear that up. But anyway, if you don't have dogs, the dog coming in on your reading is to, be, to do with companionship, okay, and friends, all right? And lots of people sending you lots and lots of hearts. Okay, let me know where you live, everybody. Thank you for sending. Um, oh, and she's thinking about getting a dog. Well, there you go, because you need the companionship, okay? It'd be awesome for you. Brilliant. Yes, that's beautiful. And that's what we're all here to support each other. And the hearts were for you, Margaret. And we're thinking of you and sending you lots of love and extra angels. And thanks for being here. Excellent. Okay. Right. I'm just going to scroll back through here. Thank you for being here. Michelle Newton, the Aussie angel lady here with you on Angel Hour tonight, doing some Angel Feather Oracle card readings, Archangel Michael readings, we're guided. And uh, I'd really appreciate it if you would like and share the live stream. Don't have a lot of people on at the moment, so that's interesting. Um, get the word out there. Um, and if you're watching the replay, um, I'm sure that you will get um, some message from it as well. What we're going to do now is we're going to do a general read for everybody here so nobody misses out, okay? So here we go. We're going to draw three cards. Actually, we might draw two cards from the Angel Feather Oracle and two from Archangel Michael for everybody that's here. Let me know if you're excited. Write excited in the comments if you're ready for a general reading. Talk to me through the comments, people. If I wish we could just have, you know, how we could actually speak. Everybody could speak. That would be really good, wouldn't it? But then everybody would speak at the one time. Then that could be like a big um, mess. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you. Keep the exciteds coming in. And we will draw two cards from the Angel Feather Oracle, which I will show you is here. Beautiful oracle. Someone said in the comments about that they just got my cards. I missed it, friends. See if you can find it for me. And we will draw two cards from the Archangel Michael Sword and Shield Oracle, my, both my oracles. So here we go, two cards. Okay. You're welcome, everybody. Okay. All right. Zoe's very excited, so that's really cool. So the first card from the Arcane, from the Angel Feather Oracle is the Peach Angel Feather, which is Secret Desire. Well, that's a very saucy card, given we're going into Valentine's Day tomorrow, so this might be our Valentine's Day reading. And this is uh, the angels are aware of your innermost desires and dreams, hand them over for safekeeping. So this is, you know, longing, yearning, um, wanting that passionate sort of love, or it can also be about secret love. So, you know, love is love, isn't it? I'm not here to judge. However, the Archangel Michael card that sits on this is justice and truth. <laughs> so we have secrets and then we have truth being told. So, you know, like Angel Michael hands you an energetic key and this sacred key ensures that the truth is revealed and the scales of justice are balanced. So, you know, anyone out there that's having an affair, you want to go really steady in Valentine's Day because Archangel Michael could just um, spill the beans on you. Um, the next card here we have is the Black Angel Feather is uh, the answer is no. So this is just the answer is no or it's the angels are protecting you. And then Archangel Raphael and Michael coming together saying conscious breathing, take a deep breath. So if you're yearning for this love that hasn't showed up, you know, hand it over to the angels. Um, don't be talking to people about your private stuff all the time because, 
then it can get misconstrued and, you know, it can, you know, like the Chinese whispers, things come out that aren't true. And so, you know, this is sort of like untruths can be revealed. Um, if you've got a situation like that going on in your life, just be very, very careful. Okay. Um, be honest. You know, this is about honesty is the best policy, you know, there's secrets you know there's happy secrets that's like surprises like a birthday present you're not going to tell your mum that you're buying it but there's other sorts of secrets secrets usually weigh heavily so you know the truth will be revealed so if something's being hidden from you it will be revealed as well take a deep breath don't keep your focus on there okay interesting reading okay let me know how that resonated with you <laughs> if you're game <laughs> if it was relevant you might not want to say <laughs> which is fair enough um, um, Tammy says, uh, Tammy Johnson says she found a black feather in her cabin. No idea how it got there. The angels left it for you. They're telling you that you're protected. Okay. There you go. I just answered that. Um, yes, Jules, LOL, love it. Secrets and truth. Mm, yeah, <laughs> that's funny, isn't it? That reading was quite, quite interesting. Okay, who are we going to next? Um, now, Natalie Davey says, hello there, Michelle. I still haven't opened your card yet, but we are having some bad, bad weather, so is not good should I wait? Gosh, no. Open the cards. Don't worry about weather. Um, and someone said the general reading resonated really well with them. Well, good on you. Awesome. Um, who is next? Oh, Archangel Michael's here. I've got a, um, oh, okay. Becky. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so th this, that reading, even though it was quite, um, very interesting, it's resonating with a lot of people. Okay. So, you know, yeah, sometimes things are what they are, but you know, the truth will be revealed. Okay. So. We have, let's have a look here, Kari Dutcher. I hope I said that right, Kari. And she's from Asheville, NC. Where's NC? I don't know. I'm from Australia. Kari, inform me what NC means. Is that New York City? Oh, is it New York City? It just come to me. Okay, Kari, let's have a look, gorgeous, and see what the angels want to tell you. Copper Angel Feather, great card, Kari, which is business growth. The angels are here to inform you that the hours of hard work. Oh, North Carolina, beg your pardon. The angels are here to inform you of the hours of hard work you've put in are about to be rewarded. Okay, so there's rewards coming for you. Things are going to smooth out. If you don't have a business, if you do have a business, it's great news. If you don't have a business, it's great news because the Copper Angel energy means that things are going to get a lot easier. Okay, there's rewards coming for you. Okay. Send us lots of hearts. I can't see them tonight, but please send them because I'll look back on it and then I'll see that. Um... Oh, my God. Natalie, a cyclone? Oh, good Lord. Archangel Michael. You know, you can actually do a lot of work with Archangel Michael and cyclones. I've actually done a lot of work with Michael with um, really extreme weather and um, toning it down so it's not so devastating. So call him in. Goodness me, I'll send you lots of love. Okay. Hi, Nicole. How are you going from Marupna? So we will see where ahead. You've got a lot of people on the call now. So Michelle Newton, the Aussie Angel Lady here with your Angel Hour and um, doing live angel readings for you tonight. Oh, my God, Dee, that's what you're diving back into. Mother of pearl. Solid gold around the car, honey. Okay, when we're any any time, we don't have to be driving into a cyclone. I always, every day, solid gold around my car and taking up on the road. Okay, I do that to, for my husband's car, my son's car, my son's girlfriend's car. I do it every day. Okay, yeah, okay. Oh my goodness, mate. Okay, I'll do some work on that when I finish. Okay. See, I don't watch the news, so I don't know what's going on in the world pretty much. So thank you for letting us know. Can we all send lots of love and healing to um, 
Natalie and to D up Broome Way, West Australia, where they've got a cyclone hitting. So can we all please send the lot the hearts? Can we do a, a you know hit your hit the heart button? Everybody, and let's get a string of hearts going their way. The angels will take that energy over to them and put protection up. You know, see solid gold around your homes, solid gold around, um, you know, your town, solid gold, put a wall up on the coastline, all that sort of stuff. Okay. Radio, where are we going to now? Let me know if the readings resonated for you too. Please get back to me, guys. Let, let us know for other people listening. It actually helps them. You're welcome. Um, I might scroll back so see who else is here um, who's here from Ireland tonight where's all the Irish people I haven't seen anyone from Ireland it's really strange Um, hi, Mari Fagan. I don't know whether it's Marie or Mari. How are you, darling? And you are here from Spain. Thank you for being here. That's just so lovely. I hope you haven't gone off the call. Don't go off the call because you just never know. I might scroll back and find you. Uh, Primrose Angel Feather, Mari or Marie, M-A-R-I-E. Um, an advanced soul. The angels acknowledge that you're in the midst of an advanced, beautiful soul, an indigo crystal or rainbow child that you have been called on to love God and teach. What a blessing. You have a sensitive child around you or you will come in contact with a sensitive child very, very soon. Thank you for letting me know that you're excited, everybody. Oh, Shirley's Irish. Shirley, where did you go? She's from Ireland, Shirley Siegfried. And we'll give you a card, Shirley. And but from PA, I don't know what that means. I'll give you a card anyway. You can tell me what PA means. I don't know all these abbreviations of countries. I haven't been far in the world. Okay, Shirley. Oh, Shirley, you're welcome. you got some money coming, doll. Money's about to manifest. It's, gr manifest. it's great news. The angels ask that you feel an, a marvellous feeling of anticipation as you're about to receive an abundance of money. That's really, really good news. The abundance angels are with you, Shirley. Great. Fantastic. Go, girl. Um, so that's great news for you. So if you're worried about money, stop it because you'll push it away. Oh, Carrie's from Pennsylvania. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. May I have a card on happiness? Well, you've got money coming. That's going to make you happy, Shirley. That's the card the angels want you to know about. Okay, thank you for being here anyway. Shirley wishes she had solid gold. <laughs> well, it's a form of, of abundance. We don't have to worry about how it shows up. It'll show up the way it's meant to show up for you, Shirley. Hi, Lulu. Thank you for being here and being excited. Tell me where you live. Oh, Shirley says, thank you. Pennsylvania, you South Wales. Sorry. Ah, that would help so much. And yes, my husband is correct. I'm not sure what that means, but that's okay. That's really gorgeous. You've got some money coming, gorgeous. Um, Kamini, let us know where you live. You have to write excited in the comments and then let us know where you live. Thank you for your friend, Marie Chase Sillis, for um, sharing this with, with you. That was very, very kind of her. Um, now, who have we got here? We've got Karen Donnellan. Hi, Karen. How are you? Oops. And Karen, South Coast, New South Wales. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we've got a lot of people sharing. Thank you very much. And obviously your friends are coming on from New South Wales, so that's very, very lovely. Okay, Karen, a card for you, an Angel Feather Oracle card from my Angel Feather Oracle if you're new to my work. Oh, wow, you showed up at the right time, girlfriend. Rainbow Angel Feather, best card in the deck. Special blessing with immense excitement. The angels announce that you are to receive a special blessing. Angelic joy will radiate to you through this blessing. Excellent news for you. I do believe 
blessings can come to you in two forms. They can come on top for all to see or they can come hidden. The hidden ones are usually bigger. They, you know, they can be, you know, like your life saved or, you know, you don't go somewhere that, you know, you could have gone pear-shaped. But this one is not that. It's actually on top for all to see. So something amazing is coming for you um, that will just make your heart, you'll just be so, so, so excited. I think you're going to get some good news, actually. So that's really, really lovely. Get back to me on how that resonates for you. Oh, John, do you think it looks better? Better draw your card. Seems you um, help me so much with my lighting. I don't know where you live. You can get back to me on that, John, but John's been a regular here on our live streams and he's also um, experienced in lighting. And he gave me a little tip, so I hope it is better, John. Um, I'll give you a card, John. Actually, I'll give you a Michael card. It's more male energy. Okay. Oh, here we go again. You've got some money coming, John. That's another great card. We've just read for another lady who's got some money coming. So this is um, financial assistance. Um, Archangel Michael requests that you allow him to chimney sweep your worries, anxieties, and fears about money. He will replace them with rich emotions associated with abundance. Financial pressures are about to ease. I feel there's some new work coming in for you. I think it'll pay well too, John. So that's really good news, okay? It could be something that you actually do yourself even like on the side. Ah, Karen just got back to me about her rainbow feather. I actually should write the, the colours the, because I go back and forward. Um, she says she got the rainbow um, angel feather and she says, great, thank you. Went to a meditation today and a rainbow came in. Funny about that. That's the second synchronicity in one day, Karen. So you really need to listen to the message because you have something amazing. As I said, I feel it's in the form of some good news coming through, which is really, really cool. Um Deb Barker is new here and she's excited from Adelaide and everybody knows who are on my call how much I love Adelaide because Adelaide is built on a plat plateau of clear courts and there's so many angels around. I love it. Um, hopefully at some point in time I'll get back onto the circuit of doing the Mind Body Spirit expos and you know do platforming and stuff and get back over to Adelaide because I've got a lot of followers over there. Deb, an angel feather oracle card is the green angel feather, which is simple things. The angels would like you to take some time alone to gain a fresh perspective on your life. You need to take some time out, honey. Have you had a holiday recently? Take a day off. You need to go and get some fresh air, go for a walk, I don't know, do nothing, sit outside, read a book, put your feet up, you're tired. Okay, you need to rest. Oh, okay, Kim, Kamini. I hope I said that right. Kamini Singh. A pretty name and i've probably absolutely said it wrong but and, and you'll you'll forgive me won't you and she's excited and she's from ride new south wales all this new south wales crew have arrived tonight so that's really cool hello ms maz how are you i'll see if i've got time to draw your card maz okay have you had a um Kimini, this is the vermilion angel feather from my angel feather oracle if you don't know it, um, this is light a candle. The angels feel your bereavement and loss are here to wipe away your tears. It's now time to connect with your precious love. Have you lost someone recently? Have you lost someone that was very close to you? Um, this is not a card saying that someone's going to pass. Don't misinterpret this card. It's actually a card saying that the angels want you to light a candle and connect with someone in spirit. So it could be, I do feel that there's someone passed over who wants to say hello to you. I would like you to light a candle um, next to a photo of that person and, um, and say good day. It could even be someone that you don't know. It could be like a great grandparent, something like that. Um, I think there's someone that's older that's passed that actually wants to say hello to you. Can you get back to us on that, please, Kamini? I would love that. Marilyn is excited. You're always excited, Marilyn. It's Valentine's Day tomorrow. Is Gary going to get you roses or what? Are you coming to the windmill, Marilyn, tomorrow night? Because I'm going. Because Julia, Julia is having a, a Valentine's night with chocolates and desserts. You should come and join us. Sharon and I are going. Why not? You can bring Gary if you want. 
we're like la- I'm leaving Bertie home because he he doesn't want to eat dessert. He's boring. Marilyn, here's a card. Oh, Marilyn, the pink angel feather, love is in the air. The romance angels are here to inform you that there's an interesting development about to take place in your love life. Oh, you're probably not going to come to the windmill and see me then. Gary's going to sweep you off your feet. How beautiful. Thank you, Shirley. Absolutely love your cards. You can get back to me on that. Sounds wonderful. Poor Birdie. No, he could come. He wouldn't come. So I'm leaving him home. Um, I asked him to come, Maz, but he said, no, I don't like sweets. Um, thank you for my angel card, angel lady. Kamini says, I will light my candle. Awesome. Do you know who the person is that the angels want to connect you with, love? Get back to us. That would be really good. Um, Jordan says, wow. Hi, Jordan. She hasn't lost anyone, but she's in despair. Okay. So it's a sadness then that they're talking about. Okay. Sadness can be grief. You know, grief doesn't have to be to do with someone passing. Grief can be that someone's walked out. Um, some You've broken up with someone, that sort of stuff. It's heartache, that sort of stuff. Light your candle, okay? I do, as I said, listen to me, I do think that there's a, there's a grandparent or a great-grandparent that actually wants to talk to you. So they actually want to um, give you some guidance. So can you have a think about that? You might need to talk to your mum or your dad and ask them, you know, who if you don't didn't know your grandparents or your great grandparents there's a, there's a there's an older person that actually wants to give you guidance so light your candles okay okay i've got to find uh michelle bustani hi michelle you're a regular here John says, cold stream on Blair's husband. Oh, cool. Yes, I know Blair. She's gorgeous. You're welcome. You're welcome, John. Um, Michelle, uh, she's saying, hi, Michelle. I've had a major issue that I have held on to for 15 years, finally resolved on the 8th of January. Hallelujah, praise the Lord and all his mates. I can now finally take a leap of a leap of faith. She's saying a leap off the mountain. Well, don't leap off the mountain unless you've got John's parachute. Could I have some direction? Okay, here we go. Well, you know, that's great. You've done a lot of work, Michelle, too, by the way. I feel that you've done a lot of work on yourself. A card for you. You've got travel now. This is about you moving forward. That's really, really great news. The angels are here to advise you that travel is coming up for you. This could be associated with work or a well-earned holiday, but this is about you moving on. This is about you moving forward. It's about you being free. It's about you flying. It's about letting go of all that heavy weight. You know, um, I spent some time, as you know, I've done um, a lot of work with my sister who's trained in Denise Lynn's work, which is about um, soul journey. And I've been doing, you do all this cl- decluttering, but I've decluttered for years. I don't have a lot of clutter, but I've done a lot of really heavy um, releasing. And um, I was a nurse for 30 years and I... Um, love nursing but the thing that I held on to because I actually was a supervisor in a hospital and had dealt with a lot of really serious incidents and issues I actually went through this old filing cabinet which I never touched and there was all this all these ins what we call incident reports like incident report after incident report because you can um be called back to court after 10 you know within 10 years of, of a medical case anyway it was well and truly all these times were over so I actually shredded all that heavy energy all the sadness and all that heavy energy to do with my career the other day so that was really uplifting yeah so you know getting rid of this heavy weight is really um great great um great thing to do <laughs> you're funny Marilyn <laughs> Um, Tammy Johnson says a male spirit hanging around any idea who it may be is it hanging around you Tammy be more specific Um, um, yes Deb it was really 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 good to get rid of that stuff um, it's nearly time for me to go, everybody. So I'm going to um, just want to tell you a couple of things 
again, just if you've just joined, if you're watching the replay, Michelle Newton, the Aussie Angel Lady here um, with our Angel Hour. Um, wanted to let you know about the new portal for the um, Apple and iPad, you know, my Oracle apps. Um, there's a new portal that our app designer has created and um, you can, we'll put the link in the, Franz will put the link up again. Um, and you can go there. And if you've already bought the my apps, you can actually download them again for free. You can have a look at all the other amazing oracles that are there from other authors um, in the Indiegos clan. And you can actually use them for seven days for free. It's amazing. It's so exciting. It's a special blessing. Um, I have an amazing coupon code for you for being here tonight uh, on my online shop, which is actually 20% off um, my angels, my complete collection of my angels toolbox. That's all my, my author authored works. So it's the Archangel Michael Sword and Shield. It's the Angel Feather Oracle. It's my Angel Altars um, Creating Your Own Sacred Space book. It's my Angel Feather Oracle companion book. My Angel Staircase CD number two. My Angel Staircase CD number one and also a set of beautiful chakra cards to use. All my work works together so you can actually get the complete set tonight for 20 percent off it retails the whole set is 186 so with this coupon code you get 20 percent off it brings it back to only 148 dollars plus you have to pay shipping so the coupon code is thank you deb she said it's a fabulous toolkit and it's something it's designed to use over and over and over and over again so it's not something you're going to just get and leave it on a shelf you're going to use these every day um or whenever you need reference like the angels altars book you can go there for prayers you can go there to find out about essential oils about crystals there's all sorts of information because i'm a real resource writer i like people to have information to go to to help them in their life um, and the the coupon code tonight is atb20 I'll just um, ATB20. That will give you 20% off the Angels Toolbox. You, oh, shivers, I wrote that wrong. ATB20. Angels Toolbox 20. Um, so Franz might be able to get rid of that comment where I wrote it wrong. Um, you go onto my website, which is www.michellenew10.com. You go into, um, Franz will put up a link directly to the Angels Toolbox so you don't have to, you know, get lost. And then in the shopping cart, it says coupon code. It's a little space. You put the coupon code ATB20 in there. Click apply and it will take 20% off. Awesome discount. Don't forget to join us on Messenger where you will meet my beautiful angel bot, Gabby, short for Gabriel, named after Archangel Gabriel, because we send you lots of information there through Messenger. If you haven't joined us on Messenger, if you write the word excited, if you're on the replay, write the word excited in the comments. That should trigger the automation with the angel bot. If not, you can go onto the, um, the Michelle Newton, the Aussie Angel Lady Facebook page, and you can see the messenger symbol and you can click get started. That will trigger um, Gabby to say hello to you as well. This weekend at the AOK Healing Centre at Emerald Bank Kyala, we have some amazing stuff happening. Saturday, we have um, Joyce Lohman um, in the house doing some tarot reading. If anyone's interested in that, they can, um, on the Facebook page, um, you will see all about that in events. Um, her phone number will be there. You can contact her. Um, I'm sending out a newsletter today, tomorrow, actually, too. So if you, um, thank you, Judy. If you're interested, you can get you can sign up for my newsletter on my website, michellenew10.com. Um, also on Sunday, we have Master Selwa coming to the AOK Healing Center from Melbourne to do the Chinese astrology um, yearly update, the 2018 update, the year of the earth dog. So you can come along. You have to book though. The morning session's already booked out. We have room in the afternoon session. 
Um, so phone the centre 0358 231 to book your place. It's just $10 to come along. She does do works out your um, day pillar. So then you can see how the year is going to go for you. So it's very, very interesting. Um, I have only two readings available at the AOK Healing Centre this week. If you want an in-person reading, you want to ring the centre ASAP um, because I'm getting very booked out for readings. As you can see, the readings tonight were um, actually it's just amazing. I'm just a messenger. You know, I just have a good connection and it's not me. It's the angels that just tell me. Yeah, supercharged weekend. I also believe that there's a big um, motor show thing on at the Emerald Bank um, Motor Museum. I don't know much about that, but that's really cool. Tomorrow night at the windmill, give a shout out to Julia. Tomorrow night at the windmill, she's having a Valentine's Day dessert night. So that's at 7.30. Give the windmill a ring if you'd like to join in for that. And come and see us at the AOK Healing Centre. Also, Saturday we have um, our salt room going with um, half 30-minute salt room sessions and meditations doing the angel staircase meditation. So um, that is fantastic for only $25. So you get to do, we choose, you know, there's up to four in a group for the meditation sessions. You need to book in for them. They're only $25. No colds or flus um, can be uh, allowed in the meditation sessions. So, Thank you very much for being here. It is an absolute honour to connect with your angels. I can't possibly read for everybody. There's just too many people on the call. But you can connect with me in many, many ways um, through my work and through my apps and um, through Messenger, through the page. Um, and, yeah, here every Tuesday night, as long as I'm not going away, um, I will let you know that regularly now, Tuesday night at 8.30, I will be live here on the page um, connecting you with your um, angels, delivering guidance to you to make your, uh, your life easier. And without our angels, things are really tough. So I love to teach about angels and how you can work with your angels, how you can connect with them easier. I have an online academy, which is www.michelle newton. No, that's my main website. Stop it, Michelle. www.aok online academy is where I train people in um, my Angel Feather Oracle cards and connecting with angels. So that is awesome. If you'd like to become a student, please join us. We um, have a wonderful community. You actually become a member of my inner circle. For our local people or people in Melbourne who want to come up and train with me, it's only two hours up the road. Don't say it's too far. It's not. I'm actually going to be offering on, hang on a minute, I've got to have a look. It's uh, March the 10th, Saturday, March the 10th, a one-day workshop which will be connecting with your angels and developing your psychic skills. That will be at the AOK Healing Centre to book in Please do that um, as soon as you can. Uh, we've already got bookings for it and it hasn't even been advertised. So 58231544 and that's an investment of 150 for the whole day with me, uh, working on um, your psychic skills and tuning into the angels, learning how to work with your angels, how to protect yourself better, and it is going to be so much fun. So I look forward to you joining me for that. And, you know, as I said, it's only two hours up the road, you Melbourne folk, you can come and see me. Um, it's fantastic to do things in person. So thank you, Franz, for your fabulous assistance tonight. One more time, everybody, Michelle Newton, the Aussie Angel Lady here with the Angel Hour about to close. But if you're visiting us, um, if you're watching the replay, thank you. Um, you can still comment under the post. We, we do get back to you. The coupon code for tonight is ATB20. It'll be the best thing you ever buy. The Angels Toolbox, which is my complete set of work. Um, if you already have some of it, you can give some of it away as presents. Why not? What a beautiful present for somebody. So thank you, <clears throat> pardon me, thank you very much. I'm about to lose my voice for being here. And it is an absolute honour to connect with your angels. And we'll see you back here next week, next Tuesday, for another fantastic angel live on the page. Bye. <laughs>